Hello there and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I'm your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now today, as you can see, it is early in the morning. It is in fact 8 a.m. and it's an early spring morning here in the UK. It's gonna be a lovely day. It's a little chilly right now, but I'm sure it's gonna warm up. And I thought it was a great opportunity to come outdoors and have an outdoor shaving experience. I've done many of these in the past, it's always personally enjoyable and I thought you'd enjoy joining me too. But I'm gonna use this opportunity to talk about razor blade shaving. Because let's be honest, we live in an era where you know, you've only got to walk down the street and it is evident that um, facial hair is the on trend for men of all ages. As soon as you can grow a beard, most men seem to do so. It's not uncommon for me to sit in a, a meeting at work where you know, I am perhaps the only man who, who isn't sporting a beard or some form of facial hair. It's definitely the route which you know everybody is taking. And it's fashionable, it's trendy, I understand it. It's also easy because you know when you get up in the morning, you don't have to have a shave. But for me, that morning experience of going into the bathroom and having a shave is a really important part of my preparation for the day ahead. You know, that 10 minutes it takes me to shave is absolutely me time. I like to clear my thoughts for the day and it really you know, prepares me for the, the obstacles that my life will throw at me during that period. It also, and this is crucially important for an intentionally well-dressed man, it makes me undertake a daily skincare regime. Because if you're shaving every morning, you tend to use a moisturizer, you tend to look after your skin a bit better than if you sport a beard. So for me, definitely, it's helped with improving my skin health and keeping my skin looking good and moisturized as the years progress, because you know, we're all fighting that ticking clock. But I understand why guys don't bother shaving. It's the easier life to take and it's trendy as well. Now, I think another reason why men choose not to shave every day is the cost of it. Because shaving is, you know, it's, it's a luxury item these days. You go and you buy some of these cartridge razors and they cost a small fortune. Uh, and they don't provide the best shave in the world. Often you get skin irritation and rashes afterwards because they shave so close to the skin, it, you know, it affects the skin, it bothers it and it, it reacts in some way. Uh, and as I say, it's not the best shaving experience. But chaps, there is a way that you can get a better shaving experience and that is less financial cost. And that is using a razor blade, the good old double-edged razor. It's the way that your grandfather and your great-grandfather shaved because it is the best way, right? When you use a double-edged razor, it's less damaging to the skin, it gives you the shave that you want, and it costs a fraction of the price. And I'm gonna demonstrate that today. We are going to have an outdoor shave in a moment. But to help people who might be thinking about starting to shave, or giving it a go at least, with a double-edged razor, there are routes you can take to dip your toe in that water. Now, I know a lot of people subscribe to a shaving subscription service. And this takes all of the effort out of shaving because you subscribe to a service and they send you the kit that you need, which means you don't have to think about it when you go to the supermarket. You don't have to buy those expensive cartridge razors because you get your razor blades, you get all that you need sent to you every month, every six weeks. You can choose the gap between you know these subscription deliveries. Now, I've picked a subscription service to trial. The one I'm using today is called The Personal Barber. It's a British subscription shaving service, but it ships globally. So if you're watching this from anywhere in the world, uh, this service will be provided for you. This is not sponsored content, all right? I have not been paid to talk about this subscription service. I am merely using this one as an example to show how subscription shaving services might work for you. That said, you will find a link in the show notes below, which will take you to their website and also will provide you a fairly decent discount over your order. So if you're interested in taking up this trial into the razor blade world, why not give it a go? Now, I'm gonna pop over to my normal table and I'm gonna show you what is in the discovery box, which I've sent off for, they've sent it back to me. It costs 24 pounds, 95 pence, and it gives you all of the kit that you need to begin 
the double-edged razor shaving process. So let me show you what's in that box and then I'm going to use it for the first time here out in the woods at my outdoor shaving station. Let's go. Okay folks, so here we go. This is the box which came when I subscribed to the personal barber. Uh, this is called the Discovery Shaving Box, cost me $24.95 and it should have everything in it that I need to start shaving. Now after you've used this, then you can subscribe to their ongoing service which costs a little bit less, I think it's $12.95 and then you can uh, dictate how often you receive your additional supplies. But this is the start off box with everything that we need inside. So this is as it comes through the post, as you can see, I'm going to show it to you here. And there is some uh, information here which tells you about how to keep your razor in good condition and you know just how to shave basically which is nice so inside as you can see we get everything that we need hopefully to begin our shaving journey from scratch all right so you need nothing else this should be everything that we need so first of all you get some materials in here which are going to help with the skin regime and I can see here today we have some form of gentle exfoliating cleanser which is of course great to look after the skin and certainly if you use this in preparation prior to your shave it's going to make the bristles so much easier to to get off so that's a, a lovely little addition I believe that you know they have different products in different packs so as you subscribe to the ongoing service they commit to send you different items every time. So you're on a journey discovering the things that you like. So lots of opportunity there to find out, you know, products and brands that you may not have encountered before. So that's sort of a preparatory thing for your shave. Then to help us with our shave, we need some shaving soap. This is a Val Valoloco um, for the personal barber. So it's obviously something they've commissioned. And this is a shaving soap. Smells rather pleasant, I have to say. Uh, camphor, patchouli and black clay. So I'm looking forward to trying that in just a moment, but absolutely what you need, a shaving soap. Also in here, we have, let's have a look. Ah, well, of course we need a brush. This is a synthetic shave brush, uh, which is what I use generally. I don't use natural fibers anymore because uh, they don't last as long, but synthetics are great for regular shaving. I can see it's got the personal barber logo on it. So again, it's something they've commissioned. And yeah, it looks robust, solid. It looks like exactly the sort of thing I might ordinarily use when I'm shaving anyway. So that's great, something to go forward with. So we've got our soap, we've got our brush to apply it. We have, well, now we need a razor. And ah, there we are. So this is a typical double-edged razor. And oh, I can see it's personalized with the personal barber written on top there. Hope you can just about see that. And this is a simple three piece, as I'll demonstrate when we're about to use a razor blade within it to shave, but it's got a nice solid heft to it. It's chromium finished, feels good. Feels like a good razor. I will very much look forward to using that. Inside that razor, we of course need a cutting edge. And I can see here they've provided us with two different packs of um, double-edged razors, which is what we need. And there are many different types of double-edged razor they will send if you subscribe to their service. This is a Swedish one. I don't know where this one's from. It's a Gillette made somewhere around the world, but we're gonna try one of those in a moment within our razor. Uh, hopefully it'll give us a great shave. And afterwards, after we've shaved, we will of course use something to look, take care of our skin and this is a uh, an age recovery night cream which i'm going to use as my uh, moisturizer after i've shaved for my skin uh, again as i say they will send different ones as time goes on but we're going to try this one today so now we've got our tools i'm going to set up my outdoor shaving station and we're going to use this in a physical actual shave right now i'm going to boil some water and then we are good to go let's shave
Well folks, here we are. Let's get this show on the road and get this shave done. I have to tell you, it's a little bit fresh um, because it is only an early spring morning here in the UK. And whilst it's a perfectly nice and crisp day, it's not necessarily very warm. So what I've got on the table are the things that we just saw in that kit, namely our razor, our soap, our brush, which we're about to use. Uh, I've got a little um, stainless steel container, which I use to, to lather up my soap. And I've also got a mug of hot water, which I've just boiled on my uh, using my Kelly kettle over there. Lifetime. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is prepare our razor. Now, as I say, this is a nice three piece non adjustable razor. Simply comes apart like so. And then this upper part splits into two and we sandwich our razor blade in that section. So I've picked, let's have a look. I'm going for the Puma Sharp, which is the razors which came in the kit. And when you take them out, they look a little bit like this. They're all contained individually in a little package. Now I have to tell you, this is the crucial part about using um, a, a double-edged razor over any other form of razor because these little fellas are super sharp. As they say, they are razor sharp. So caution is required. Okay, so there it is. A simple double-edged razor. Now, I get my the head of the razor, which I just took apart. The razor blade, as you see, fits inside there. Like that. The blade is sandwiched between the two halves of the head. And then we screw that shaft on. Nice and tight, being very careful in the placement of our fingers because razor blades are unforgiving monsters. Believe me, you don't want to get cut by one of these fellas. And there we go. That is our razor ready to rock. And I am going to press it into service in a moment. So it's ready to go. Now it looks to be a fairly mild shaving razor because I can see the reveal or the amount of razor blade which is presented to us to use in the shave doesn't look too bad. The angle looks good. I think it's going to be a nice easy shaver. I've never tried it before. This is the first experience here live. Okay, now let's get our soap. This is the soap which has been provided in the kit. As you can see, pretty straightforward looking soap. Let's have a look. It smells soap-like, it is fair to say. It looks soap-like. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to get that synthetic brush and I'm just going to dampen it. I'm sticking it into that that mug of hot water, dampening down the bristles. Not super wet, we don't want to waterlog them, but I'm now just working in the brush, slightly damp brush, into the soap, and I'm obviously transferring some of the soap onto the end of the brush. Now I'm just gonna use my container to whip that up. And the idea of this is that by doing this, we can get a nice lather going which is going to be really useful for us when we shave, okay? This is what it's all about. Remember, the soap is an important thing. The soap is the lubrication, which is the only thing between our skin and the razor blade. So it's important we get a nice bit of soap. So to get your ideal bit of lather going, add a bit more water if it's not coming up to scratch. This one is lathering up beautifully, I have to say. It looks rather nice. So there we go. And as you can see, you know, we've got a nice sort of lather which is built there which I know from experience is going to be, it smells rather nice too, quite soapy, but very nice. Now to help with that lubrication process, a little bit of fluid, a bit of water on the skin, just another layer. So I'm just using my warm water, another layer on the skin. Now you'll forgive me if I look this way, because as you saw, my auto saving station has its mirror here. So I'm now staring into the mirror rather than looking at the camera, all right? So, because I don't want to cut my throat. So simply lather up the brush and let's get that lather on the old skin. Now, I know there are people on various YouTube shaving channels who will, you know, spend hours doing this. For me, remember, it's just above freezing. I'm standing in a field and I want to get a shave because I want to get on with my day. It's, uh, it's you know, it's quite early. and. As I say, a lot of people don't bother shaving because it takes too long. I don't think shaving has to take that long. You can make it last as long as you like. But for me, shaving lasts five to 10 minutes. Uh, maybe on a Saturday, it can last a bit longer, but you know, you just lather the skin up until you're satisfied 
that your bristles are protected or covered, which is of course what protects the skin. The brush is nice, it's a nice little brush. Uh, I'm doing this quickly, you know, if you were at home you might spend a bit longer, but as I say, I want to get on with it. It is cold, let's get it done. Here we go, nicely lathered. Now, the true test is how does the razor perform? What I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop my razor into the hot water. This is not really about lubricating the razor, it's about warming up the steel. Because I personally think that warm steel always cuts better than uh, cold. So there we go. I'm going to do two passes today. Straight pass and then a sideways pass. So just to let you know. So here we go. Let's see how she cuts. And initial thoughts are smooth. This is a nice razor. The reveal, as I thought, is fairly mild. I've got, for reference, two days of stubble here. I last shaved a couple of days ago. So, it's cutting rather nicely, I have to say. I like it. I like it a lot. It's not too bad. The razor feels good in the hand. Which is what you're after, really. Something which is comfy. Remember, when you're using a razor like this, you're not applying pressure. You're not pushing down on the skin. The razor's doing the work. It's the lightest pressure over the skin. In fact, the weight of the razor does the work for us. Soap smells nice, actually. Now it's been on the skin for a little while. It's smelling rather nice. Okay, just every so often I'm dipping my razor into the water just to clear off the detritus and the, the bristles which are on the head. But generally, I have to say, it's cutting nicely. And yeah, now those people who are out there who would say shaving is a chore, you know, I can't be bothered with that every day, spending five or ten minutes going through this process. All I will say, gentlemen, is that you're missing out because shaving is, it's that little bit of personal time that you get in the bathroom, even if it's just five minutes, thinking about the day ahead. Clear up under the nose. There you go, just get those difficult to reach bits. This razor is not a bad little driver actually. I have to say, it's gone round the skin very easily there and it's given me quite a, a, an effective shave. Now that's just one pass. I'm gonna go do two passes today. Many people will do more. I'm just gonna crack straight on with it and get it done because I'm not gonna hang around talking to you because as I say, I'm getting cold and it's not much fun standing in a field. Although it's enjoyable being out in nature, experiencing the sounds of, you know, the countryside around me, uh, I do perhaps enjoy my outdoor shaves more when it's a little warmer. Well, it's not too bad today. No complaints. Okay, so as I said, it amazes me why more men don't shave these days. And it really brought it home to me uh, recently, probably within the last couple of years, I should say, where I became aware, now I, I my first, career was in the military I used to be in the Royal Air Force and I realized a couple of years ago they changed the regulations that you could wear facial hair in the RAF now you've always been able to have a beard in the Royal Navy it's tradition heritage and so on uh, but the Royal Air Force we all had to be clean shaven and it was you know it looked smart everybody looked very presentable I know uh, when I look at images of uh, people serving in the military that the RAF particularly most of the men are wearing facial hair, which I find so incongruous to, you know, the, the good sort of principles of military service, where it's all about looking good. I mean, there used to be a reasoning that, you know, it would affect the wearing of a respirator. Um, you know, these breathing devices you use in chemical warfare situations. Um, if you, had a, if you had a beard, you know, it, it couldn't form an effective seal around one's face. But the truth is, you know, we're not going to get a chemical attack tomorrow. You would shave if you were going into a situation where there was danger. So there's not really any need to be clean shaven. But I think being clean shaven is very much part of the uniformity of looking your best. So for me, it's always being clean shaven. Now, whilst we've been talking, I've applied another layer of uh, shaving foam or soap to the face and now I'm just going to use the razor to shave across the grain. I've shaved with the grain, with the, the growth of hair, so it's less stressful to the face. Now I'm going to shave across. Some people will shave against the grain to get an exceptionally close, you know, uh, baby bottom smooth shave. For me that 
does cause irritation. So I'm shaving across the grain and I can hear that the bits of stubble which were left behind from my first shave is now coming off. And this shaves quite closely actually, this fella, I have to say, it, um, it's doing its job. Now, recently I've been taking an easy route and I've been shaving with uh, a Gillette, uh, the new King C Gillette razor, which I actually find gives a fairly good shave. I use a, a feathers razor blade generally and gives a really nice shave. This fella is comparative, I would say. It's certainly comparative. It doesn't feel as if there's any danger that I'm gonna cut myself. It's not so sharp as it's causing me concern. So I like that very much so. So there we go. Under the nose, all done. Nice and smooth. Um, done the cheeks. Now I'm just gonna draw again with the skin so that there's no risk of causing irritation. Just go against it here and there and across it. I can see I've nicked myself here and there. That's only to be expected when using a new razor. If you do cut yourself when you are using a double-edged razor, don't be alarmed. It's merely what we call a weeper, which is where, you know, it'll stop in just a moment and, you know, it's sorted. It's, it's nothing to be concerned about seeing some blood on your face when you're shaving with a, a razor. It's par for the course. Get used to it. And in fact, if you get a, if you want to get dressed into your, you know, your best clothes immediately after you've had a shave and you don't want any blood transfer onto your clothing, there is a route you can take. And that's, of course, to use a styptic tool. Um, I've got a styptic pencil here in my pocket. Styptic is just uh, a material which assists in the coagulation of blood. So it makes the blood clot immediately. You just wet this, rub it onto the area where you've got a cut stops it straight away unless you've got some sort of arterial bleeding uh, you know if you've opened a vein then you're in trouble but that's not going to happen right using a simple double-edged razor so there we go now i can see that was a good shave and i am very pleased with that outcome i have to say i'm just going to wipe my face off uh, i'm going to use some fluid i've got some water just here in my kelly kettle from which i boiled up to uh, to get the water that I've just used in the shaving process. So I'm just gonna get that in my hands. Hopefully it's not too hot. Oh, there we go. And just gonna rinse the face off. That's the, the first step in the looking after your face process. Ah, there we go. Using a Costco microfiber rag. These make excellent outdoor towels. They're so absorbent, they're incredibly cheap. Do a great job. Don't need to spend money on anything more expensive. So there we go. I'm very pleased with that outcome. The shave is good. Very happy with that. Now, the last thing I'm gonna use from the little pack that I've had today is the night cream, which is a moisturizer. It's a, it's a moisturizing uh, hyaluronic cream. So yeah, it's a moisturizer. So all I'm gonna do, let's have a look what we got. It's got a little stopper on the end. Goes with my other rubbish. A uh, little bit of that on the finger. And I'm just going to apply that to the face. There we go. Just to give something back. Because when you shave using a double-edged razor, let's not forget, we are drawing a piece of razor-sharp steel over the surface of one's skin. It's going to take away the dead cells. That's one of the beauties of the skincare regime, which comes with shaving with a double-edged razor. And now we're looking after our skin. So we are moisturizing, we're replenishing what we've just taken away by using our shave and it's doing wonders for our skin. You know, the skin feels beautiful and smooth. I feel alive and fresh and clean and confident that I look my very best going forward into the day ahead. That little shaving pack that I bought was 24 pounds 95, all right? And that gives you everything that you need to begin a double-edged shaving journey in your life. It might be a, a, a toe in the water because once you've tried it, you'll think, I really like this. I'm gonna try different shaving soaps. I might wanna try different razors. This is a very serviceable, good razor. Um, I'm gonna use this for a while, see how it, how it treats me uh, as we go forward. But I've enjoyed shaving with that. As you can see, 
no significant cuts whatsoever, a good clean shave um, and the jawline is clear of any bristles. I'm looking my best for the day ahead. Now I'm going to head home, I'm going to have a coffee, put my suit on, get out to work and I know that I'm going to look clean shaven, smart and fresh because I've spent that time looking after my skin. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video on perhaps showing you the benefits of using a double-edged razor in your life. If you have, I would encourage you to give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not a member of our channel already, you know the drill. Click the red button, subscribe, come on the journey with us. And if you'd like to practically support the channel and allow me to continue to make videos like this, please you can buy me a coffee. If you go to the show notes below, you'll find a link to the Chaps Guide Buy Me A Coffee page, and I'd be deeply grateful if you'd support me. So, until the next time, look after your skin, get that razor, and look your very best. And I will see you again very soon. <laughs>